Parents, what spooky past life memory did your kid utter? When my son was 3. He told his mom that he was a cosmonaut the last time he was a grown up. Not an astronaut. The Russian version. 99% certain he hadn't heard the word before. When my daughter was 3 and starting to talk Clara was talking to someone and concerned I walked into the bedroom and no one was there. Initially I thought it was her playing with her toys. Days later the same scenario but this time I asked who she was talking yo and she replied your grandma. I thought she meant my mom who had recently passed so I showed a pic of her and asked is this her? No your grandma was the reply. I found a picture of my grandma and she with a big smile said yes. Her? Huh? I was shocked since I don't have pictures of my grandma displayed and she died 1991 and my daughter born 2015. Edit. My youngest. 4-5, would tell about how warm and cozy she was in my belly. How cold and scary it was to be born. And how the hardest part was that she used to know everything but now she doesn't know anything. I would give her space to talk. Her frustration at almost being able to remember everything was almost palpable. Sort of along these lines. I am 60 years of age never having biological children but am the proud grandfather of several wonderful children. I am the adopted one. My lady and I have been together for 28 years and her children have children now. One day my granddaughter around the age of 4 years old went to her mother and asked what happened to Papa's babies. There was two of them but they're dead now. It so happened that when I was 13 or 14 my girlfriend at the time got pregnant. There was an abortion. My girlfriend always said they were twins. I never really believed her. And never argued the point. I think of this a lot now in my old age. Not a parent. I remember telling my mom when I was about 3 about my royal family I still have this cryptic memory of standing in a desert with a dark shallow pool. The sun was setting. And my younger brother reaches down and splashes the water in the pool. And everyone got very upset. There was something sacred about this pool. It has always been a lasting memory for me. I met someone when I was 16. And we stayed friends and when we were 18 we talked about reincarnation. And he told me the exact same story only from the brother's perspective. I had never told him about my memory. Still freaks me out to this day. When my daughter was about 3 years old she would say the word specs all the time. Like constantly. I'm thinking this is so bizarre why would a child randomly start saying this. And my wife told me that her grandfather used to work for a company called Specs. The grandfather has been deceased quite a long time and was never even alive since my daughter was born. She used to say things to me all the time like when I was an adult I used to doozes. I was the child in this case. I don't remember any of this. But when I was 4 we traveled to Ireland to visit my dad's grandparents. We were walking through a shopping area when I started yelling about wanting to see the train and ran into a shop. My parents ran in after me as I was going nuts about some train. There was no train. It was a clothing store. The woman working there asked my parents what I was doing as I was just running around frantically. I finally yelled the train. Full stop. I had found. In the back of the store. A framed newspaper clipping from the 1940s of the front window of this shop when it was a toy store and there was a big model train scene set up. The following conversation happened between my wife and our youngest when she was 3 or 4. Daughter. I remember my old mommy. Wife. A what? Daughter. Like I was born. And then I was really cold. But then I woke up and you were my new mommy and laid her head on my wife. My youngest was born with complications. She was intubated and spent two weeks in the NICU. So there's that. Not me. But some of my grandma's siblings died in a house fire around the 60s 70s. My mom's sister, around 15-25 at the time, was just talking with one of her cousin who was about 5 like 30 years ago. And the 5 year old was really scared of fire and acted a lot like one of my grandma's sisters. Tony. Then one day when my aunt reached over to light a candle the 5 year old cousin said isn't it funny how last time we were sisters but now we're cousins? 
It freaked my aunt right out. Apparently. Edit. Forgot to point this out. But two of my grandma's sisters died in the fire. When I was about 4 my family and I were moving house. We went to view this house in a rural village that was right by an airfield that had been very important during World War II. And there were still disused Anderson shelters in the garden and fields behind. Apparently the minute I saw them I ran to my mum. Clung to her arm and asked are there going to be more bombs? Comma. And got really agitated. Nobody ever spoke about the war. This was in the 90s. And we didn't even have a TV. My mum was really spooked by the whole thing. In 2006 my best friend Nick was Kia in Iraq. We used to wrestle fight until one of us submitted. These sessions would start randomly and always be initiated by showing your fangs. This involved pointing your pointer and middle finger down in front of your mouth while growling at the other person. A couple of weeks after his death some family from the other side of the country that we only see every 5 years or so was visiting. A cousin's son who was about 5 and who I never met prior to this visit comes over. He gives me the fangs and smiles. I asked him where did you learn that? He says your friend says hi and runs away. I went to my room and cried for a bit. Well. I'm not a parent but I once told my mother. I used to be your dad. When I was a toddler. And if that's not weird enough he died about 9 months before I was born. When my daughter was 3. She saw a large ship while we were on vacation at the beach and said that's like the one my parents before you died on. I said. You had other parents before us? He calmly went on to explain that I shouldn't worry. They were her parents a long time before my husband and I were. But the ship they were on broke apart and they are still at the bottom of the ocean. She then said when her before parents died. He and her sister Brunella had to be separated because no one could take them both. She said her sister went to live in Australia. But she stayed in Ireland. We live in the U.S. My family and I were driving through the Kent countryside and my brother, about 3 at the time, announced. Mummy. That was the field I died in once. I bayonet went through my tummy. I was 8 and remember wondering what a bayonet was exactly at the same time my parents looked at each other and asked him how he knew what bayonet was? He said he didn't know and then became almost embarrassed and shy because of our collective reactions. There was no way he would have known about war or weapons as this was the early 90s and we didn't watch TV much at all. I'm a complete skeptic but this creeps me out to this day. Not exactly the same thing. But my 5 year old daughter has been saying things like when I look in mirrors there are a lot of people in here. And why were so many people in my room last night? For like 2 years. Date. It had been a while since she said anything like the above. But yesterday at dinner she turned around and looked behind her. Then said sometimes I hear voices behind me. But when I look back. No one is there. My daughter, too, is absolutely terrified of the sound of planes. She's never been in own so it's just really scared of the sound. Usually. She will hear one and come running and hide between my legs. One night a few months ago. Though. She heard a plane stopped playing and just said to herself. They're here. A couple weeks later. She told my husband it was time to storm the beach. This kid has never been to a beach. My son was two but nearly three and just yammering away talking. Just any old words constantly. It was like he was practicing making sounds 24 stroke 7. One day. We are in the car and he is weirdly quiet. Not asleep. Just sort of daydreamy. I say. What's up? He. And he says. I'm just sad. I miss my birds. What birds? Tutu and Tinger. I don't know who those birds are. T. It wasn't now. Mommy. It was before. When I had another mommy. And you had birds? Like as pets? No. They lived in a tree next to our house at the edge of the jungle. So they visited me. They were friends. Not pets. And he sounded so not too. He sounded like he was grown. And then he fell asleep in his car seat and wouldn't talk about the jungle and the birds when he woke up. 
not me but a friend's little sister. The whole family was out for dinner at a restaurant in a skiing village which they recently bought a cottage near. My friend's little sister as soon as they walked in said I know this place. My mother and I used to paint here. To which her mother replied we've never been here before. What do you mean? She replied with no. My mother from before. We used to paint here all the time. The family was obviously a little freaked out but didn't think much of it as she was pretty young and they figured just messing around. Later on though. When talking to the waitress. The little girl again adamantly mentioned how she used to paint there and the waitress revealed that it in fact was an art studio for many years in the 1900s but had been converted sometime in the early 2000s into a restaurant. Needless to say the entire table. Waitress included. Got goosebumps and were at a loss for words. I don't remember any specifics. But she always talks about back when she was older. My daughter talks about her grandson all the time. I thought it was just an imaginary friend. But then a couple nights ago she came out of her room at bedtime absolutely sobbing and said I'm sad because I miss my grandson. He lives in my old house in my old neighborhood. He has never lived anywhere other than this apartment. Edit. Totally thought this would get buried. To answer some questions we have asked her about him. But it's pretty hit or miss on whether she'll actually answer or just think it's a fun game. The other night after some questions she told us that he sleeps in a crib and has a white tongue. Comma. But when I asked her his name a few hours ago she said Guga and laughed and laughed. Totally could be just her imagination. But she also told me some weird things about the baby I lost a few months ago. Which really makes me wonder if she remembers those things we don't. I don't know how old I was but when I was young, 6, I was in the car with my parents and I said something like oh I used to live there while pointing at a house we were driving past. Turns out it was my great great grandmother's house. One of my preschool students. What do you want to do when you're a kid again? me. Well grown ups don't become kids again. We grow up and stay grown ups. Huh? Well I remember when I was a grown up and I drove a car. And now I'm a kid again. Someone taught my nephew from when he was 4. That whenever an older person said they didn't believe in reincarnation. That he should say it's okay. Mine said that he had a dream he was in heaven. Or some other place before he was born. With lots of men in suits who had lined up every woman on the planet. The suits told him to pick who would be his mum. The part that creeped me out is I remember my mum telling me I had a dream exactly like that as a child. My grandma has a story from when my dad was 2-3 years old. Age 2 or 3 my daughter told us about when she and her other parents had to run away from their burning house. But not just their house. Everything around them was on fire. They didn't escape. She also told us how warm and cozy it was in her mother's womb. I adopted a Tenno baby from a kind of little talked about country. When he was about 4. He told me he remembered details of a famine. Said he would go hungry to feed his siblings. At the time he didn't have any. And his mother would cry as she picked at dirt to get food. It sounded like a strange dream. But we did some research and it lined up with a famine that happened in his birth country. This comment section taught me something. When he was around 4. My grandson used to talk about his job at the ice factory. One day he was talking about his boss Favo and the day he quit. I asked him why he quit and he turned to me and quite passionately said I'll tell you why I quit. They made me work 15 days in a row without a break and I had enough of that. It was weird hearing all that righteous anger coming out of that little boy. My daughter just informed me that he was 3 when he always talked about working at the ice factory. So yeah. Scary 3 year olds. My daughter is deathly afraid of fire because the fire at school killed my sister and my other mom was really sad. When she started preschool at 3 they had a fire drill and she cried hysterically until it was over and she was convinced there was no fire I had to go pick her up and on the way home she told me she's glad they have fire drills so all of the kids don't die like at her last school. I'm still freaked out. I had a brother pass away from brain cancer. 
At the time we had a cat who was a calico and just sort of knew he was battling something. She was really mean to most people but with him she was gentle. He would grab her paws and she would just let it happen. Well about 3 years after he passed my parents had another child. Another boy. He was about 3 when he told my parents about the white, brown and black cat that used to let him grab her paws. She had died about a year before he was born. Apparently when I was really little. Around 3 or so. I told my mom that this was my last time here. That I wasn't going to come back. Congratulations on obtaining enlightenment. Not so much past life. When my son was about 4 we were driving to daycare he randomly pipes and says mommy I had this dream where you were pregnant. We named the baby Dawson. But then he fell off the bed and died. He wouldn't give you any more information than that. I was super weirded out. That evening I decided to get a couple pregnancy tests. And sure enough I was pregnant. Went through the next day and never mentioned anything to anyone. But the following day I woke up with cramps. Ended up going to the hospital and found out I'd miscarried. Still never said anything to anyone about it. A few days go by and we're driving to daycare and my son says remember that dream I had about the baby? That's silly because you're not pregnant. I was absolutely floored. It was so weird. From a message my ex sent me last year about our daughter who was 3 at the time. On hearing a motorbike I had one before I was little. My little brother when he was little, like 3 or 4, said that he was in the jungle saving animals and one day he had to decide if he would stay with the animals or come live with us. He chose us. But reminded my mom that he couldn't stay forever. Just for a little while. He passed this last January at 26 years old. Edit. I appreciate the love. Everyone make sure to say what you need to to those who need to hear it. I don't believe it's my place to tell the whole story. And I don't believe this is the forum. So I'll leave this as is. I also want to advocate for professional mental health for those who have experienced the loss of a child. Sibling. Parent etc. Don't figure it all out alone. My 5 u boy has a lot of creepy past life utterings. But the most concerning was when he told me he was going to be replaced soon by a brown girl with long hair. I was driving my family across the state to visit family. Some commercial on the radio about Vegas came on and I started singing Viva Las Vegas in my best Elvis impersonation. My son was about 3-4 and he says I don't like Vegas. I lost my life and a lot of money there. His mom and I glanced at each other like WTF. He never said anything else about it. When my brother was about 3 back in the 90s our family was sitting down for dinner and he randomly said that. Remember when I lived in Spain? We're from the U. A. Comma and my dad humoring him said yeah. And he continued that he lived in Spain before with his other family but he died when he was on a fishing trip with his dad and the last thing he remembers is his dad's hand trying to reach him as he drowned. He also reeled off some Spanish names for his parents which there was no way he would have known those kind of names and he started to sort of meditate in his room from time to time. He eventually stopped talking about it as he got a little older and doesn't remember anything about it anymore. Crazy to hear so many other people have similar experiences. Now I'm scared to talk to my 3 years old. Seriously though. Why does nearly every story here mention a 3 or 4 year old? My daughter is about to turn 4 and talks about being in belly a lot. She recalls details and things I did while pregnant that I know I haven't told her or talked about. She talks about the day I rode the school bus to the mini town. I took my students on a field trip when I was nearly 9 months pregnant to a mini city play place. She tells me it was dark but she heard my heart and heard my voice. We named our son after my father who passed away 3 years before he was born. My father pumped gas at a local gas station for years. My son saw one of the oil trucks drive by one day and proceeded to talk about how he was pumping gas at the gas station. It weirded me right out cause we never talked about that before. My mom said when I was pretty young she was driving me to daycare before work and I told her. You should have called Irma last night before she died. This was an old co-worker she loved. 
turns out Irma had died that night. This is gonna be buried but when I was 3 I asked my mom if she remembered when I was a baby boy named Josh. No, I am female. She said no and I explained that I died after falling down the stairs. The crazy part is that my mom had a miscarriage before getting pregnant with me after falling down the stairs. When my sister was a toddler she used to talk about her other mom who had long black hair and blue eyes and blue shoes. Our mom had a pixie cut and was blonde. I was at a nature show with my daughter. The kind where they bring animals out and tell the audience about them. This particular show was about wolves. And the handler was telling the audience why she did what she did with the wolves. My daughter. Baby 4 at the time. Said I used to do that. I asked her what she meant. She said. Just as factually as a 4 year old could possibly be. That she used to train dogs and wolves before she died. She herself looked confused for a bit. As though this thought was surprising to her as well. I didn't know what to say. So I said well that's interesting. She enjoyed the rest of the show and never spoke of it again. Edit. Thank you for the award. Internet stranger. I'll be sure to pay it forward when I'm able. My daughter would refer to me as her new mommy. Then. As her vocabulary increased. She said you're my new mommy. But it's okay. I like you. And one day. You're my new mommy. I had two brothers. But they all died. But it's okay BC I like you. She never mentioned her real family again. Last time she did she was was about 3 or 4 years old. <laughs>